time Alabama won the Dominator. Won a national title in the year you spent at FSU. It's not a bad D3 to take. Bulls get the victory, 59 to three over East Tennessee State. It's his first victory as the head coach here at home in Knoxville. School wins a four-game losing streak, and will play the Utah Miners next Saturday at noon Eastern time or on SEC Network. Our friends Dave Neal, DJ Shockley, and Don Davenport led the call in that one. All score touchdowns in all three phases today. On offense, that man, true freshman Jeremy Brakes had a couple of them. Had a pick six, had a punt block for a touchdown as well. And they beat East Tennessee State with old friend Randy Sanders, 59 to three. For Matt Stinchcomb and Chris Hartman, our entire crew, let's have Chris Gagliani and Dan McMahon. I'm Taylor's arms are so long from Knoxville. All balls today. Coach Roman, you get your first win as the head coach of the University of Tennessee. What's this moment feel like right now? Well, I'm flattered. Players uh, have a little bit of pride inside the hat, uh, especially coming out of the line of the light. Uh, so it was at least some positives today. Uh, there's lots of mistakes we still made, so we've got to go back to work this next week and try to fix them. About those positives, where did you see the biggest improvement from last week? Well, we brought the, brought the play on special teams. Um, you know, we did have one turnover. We got a few turnovers defensively, which created a short field, scored once on defense. So, uh, had two million offensive touchdowns. So that, uh, you talked about this team needing some confidence. It's their first win since November of the last year. It's not a conference win, though. What can a game like this do for this young team? Well, I think for them, it's not about who we play. I think it's about just executing and seeing if you do things the right way and give yourself a chance to have success. But, if you don't, you don't. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you. The Bulls win the game, 59 to three, and a blowout over East Tennessee State. Bulls win, 59 three. Since they were opportunistic in every single phase. Yeah, you saw early on special teams, passing game. They seem to be able to get these downfield throws, the big chunk plays, to set themselves out. And the rest of the offense, with the explosive plays, it was the defense generating turnovers. Set up the short field for the offense to get in the end zone again. That was 14 points. Bang, bang, out of the break. Then you had another defective pass. This time there, Kirk was able to take it through all the work on his own. Offense doesn't even have to battle taking the field. In the second half, I think Tennessee did a great job of showing themselves in the ground game. They opened things up on the perimeter, allowed them to get those shots going, and they got the separation they needed on the scoreboard. Utah's coming to town next week, and they get.